Ahoy, and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Today I'm going to be talking about the rules for continuously cruising and for having a home mooring. It's quite complicated, I'm going to explain it the best that I can in the way that I've understood it. Please don't take my words as law, um, I'm just going to explain what I understand and if you're planning on following any of these rules I suggest you do your own research. Right, now, disclaimer over, let's carry on with this narrowboat adventure. Uh, my name is Jasmine, I'm a continuous cruiser and a liverboard, of course. Um, so my understanding of the law is that you must move every 14 days and your movement must be bona fide navigation. Um, there are exceptions if you are sick, if you have a, a breakdown in your engine, or if the weather is too bad to move and it's going to put you in harm's way, then there are exceptions to that rule. So I live on a Canal and River Trust area. Essentially, that's what I'm going to talk about today. The Canal and River Trust are a charitable organisation who look after the canals. They take a licence fee from boat users and they also enforce the rules. Um, so our licence fee is essentially like council tax. It pays for us being able to use the water fill up points, uh, using the LSAN, uh, them looking after the canals and doing repairs here and there um, and we pay that as a yearly fee but it can be paid in instalments I understand. Um, they enforce the rules uh, as everybody has a license number and they have people who go around and, and, and take record of where boats are. Although the law doesn't state a specific area that you should have moved within to definitely be bona fidedly navigating. Uh, the Canal and River Trust advise that you do over 20 miles per year, um, although I, I think that your licence comes up for review after 10 months, so you should try and do at least the 20 miles within 10 months. Um, so therefore, you cannot go back and forth between two spots for six months of the year and do a 20 miles at the end. That would be well, not very fair to other boaters, and uh, it, it just wouldn't count as bona fide navigation. As far as they're concerned, their recommendation is that you go sort of A, B, C, D, E, F, and then turn around. Um, although, I don't think life is really like that. We've probably done more of a zigzag. I don't think we've come back to that many of the same spots. Oh, and the only other thing with continuously cruising that I should probably mention is that you can get a winter mooring, and that's where you pay to stay in the same spot over the winter time. So you might pay uh, as much as a normal mooring fee might be, uh, depending on your area. It will depend how much it is, I imagine. And I've never paid for one, but essentially it means that you can either stay put for like a month or two or three months, however long you'd like over the winter. Um, I believe those winter mooring things go on sale in October. Um, we didn't get our boat till after October, so we missed out on that. But I don't think we would have gone for it anyway, actually. It's, we, it was quite a mild winter. Um, maybe we would have wanted one had it been a really horrible, gruesome winter. But there you are. Now, I better move on uh, to home moorings. So home moorings have slightly different rules and uh, different things that they pay for. A home mooring obviously still pays a licence fee to the Canal and River Trust, although it is a different licence fee. Um, they pay for a mooring and they also pay council tax. So the mooring fees will just be for your home mooring and it's kind of like just renting the spot where your boat is. Um, and then the council tax would be because usually with each marina or place where the people moor there are bins and things like that that are done by the council. Um, so there's, it's a lot more expensive. Um, obviously you still can move your boat and take it out on the open canal waters. Um, and you do still kind of, you can't stay in one spot that's not your home mooring for more than 14 days. That is still obviously a rule that uh, all boats must abide by. Um, but you don't necessarily have to do a 20 mile range or more because obviously if you take your boat out three or four times throughout the year, then they can't expect you to do 20 miles because you're staying in one place all the time. 
Oh, and each each place that you would moor as a as a home mooring will have its own rules as to we need you to be here three months of the year or we need you to be here on the 1st of October for our annual meeting or whatever that might be. Um, so these are just the rules really that I can think of. I don't know as much because I've not got a home mooring. I'm sure there might be people on here that do have home moorings that could enlighten you more. Um, I should just mention uh, for the very last few moments that we've also been on the Thames and mooring is slightly different on the Thames. Um, it's a different licensing area so that's under the Environment Agency. Um, with the Environment Agency most of their sort of actual mooring, visitor moorings uh, are like 24 hours is free and then it's like five or six pounds after that. Um, Hampton Court uh, is a really nice place to moor but it's under those rules um, and of course there's things like you can use your anchor when you're out in the Thames and I, obviously I don't think you actually have to pay to do that. Um, also we've been down to the River Way and the River Way does not have any home moorings for liverboards and it also doesn't allow full licences for continuous cruises. Um, most likely because it is very small. Um, it took us maybe, you, you could probably do the whole of the River Way in a day if you were really going all day long. Um, so that's obviously why. Um, you can get a full license if you have a home mooring but all of the moorings that are available are for leisure boats only. Um, we got a month license you can go for a month and sort of do a holiday there and that was very nice and I definitely recommend it. Um, so that's all I really have to say about the rules. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please do join us again on this narrowboat adventure by clicking subscribe and please comment down below if there's anything you want me to make a video on because I'd love to hear what you'd like to see. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>